Evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets, end of days trading for the uh, Tuesday session, 24th of January 2017. Yes, it's 2017, and the first month first month is almost already gone. It's amazing, eh? Time flies. Okay, please be sure vi to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so down to business, back, or should we say down to trading? because that is our business so the FTSE 100 itself finishes flat okay the DAX uh, up 50 points the CAC uh, the FTSE MIB IBEX stocks very surprising that European equities are higher given the uh, the strong euro euro currently sitting at the 1.0750 uh, zone although it has actually dropped 15 pips down to 1.0730 now on my uh, latest uh, platform okay so in terms of the uh, the market itself, FTSE finishes flat. Initially, the FTSE 100 was under immense pressure due to the BT profit warning. Okay. Also, the Article 50 vote went against the government again. Certainly, uh, further pressure there. Okay. And uh, sterling certainly has risen and is still uh, sitting above 1.25. Again, hurting the potential. Uh, possibility of the FTSE 100 reversing and moving higher now after hours the FTSE has actually pushed higher uh, which we'll look into that uh, and uh, certainly I'll elaborate on that as well in terms of the uh, economic data for the day uh, European data overall stronger than expected Nikkei PMI from uh, Japan as well strong certainly stronger uh, uh, overall okay in terms of uh, the US data red book sales came in slightly on the weaker side uh, over a year and year basis uh, more or less flat on a month on month uh, manufacturing PMI stronger, existing home sales weaker, Richmond Fed certainly stronger. So mixed data overall, flat stroke stronger, okay. Uh, but that certainly wasn't the main catalyst. The main catalyst was Mr. Trump's uh, signing of uh, ex an ex well, I think it were three or four executive, ex executive orders on manufacturing and infrastructure. Also with regards to the Keystone XL pipeline as well, that's certainly helping the energy sector to a large extent. And also, obviously, his meeting with the uh, potential motor companies as well. Uh, again, certainly helping the uh, the motor trade itself certainly lift off and move higher. So, so reducing this potential red tape and uh, the uh, the actual environmental concerns uh, or environmental legal uh, restrictions. Okay, so again, uh, helping trade, and that certainly is being interpreted as being bullish. Although. Having said that, this was already factored into the S&P 500. That's why we're at potential all-time highs. If you look at the S&P 500 itself, let's just bring up the chart of the S&P here. Bear with me. Okay, let me just bring this up. One second. S&P 500. Okay, so you can see here potential uh, breaking new highs at 2280. Uh, looking to potentially break into that resistance and potentially break higher. The VIX certainly is being slammed as well. Okay, the Nasdaq as well, all-time highs. So the market itself certainly is uh, perf certainly performing very bullish at present. Okay. Now, in terms of the European equities, let's just look at the European equities again. You had an unfilled gap at 11.630 after hours. We've actually closed that now. So the German DAX is actually into resistance, folks. Okay. Although cash hours, the key resistance really is the 11,600. But we certainly close that gap. There is 11,640 resistance uh, above, okay, in terms of the German DAX. Daily chart, German DAX, you are capped at that key resistance around 11,640. So you are going to find trouble, especially with the Euro USD at the, at the level of uh, 1.0740, 107450. So again, uh, stronger euro certainly does hurt the export picture, okay? In terms of the French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you. Now, you did have inverted head and shoulders formation with gap fill at 4850. We have actually hit 4850 after hours, okay? I've actually went, I actually went short at the 4830 zone looking for a potential move lower, especially the 60-minute chart uh, with lower lows, lower highs, given the, uh, the potential um, a stronger euro. Again, hurting potential exports. So, again, looking for that one fill gap below at 4770 on the French CAC. Okay. Now, in terms of the FTSE 100, certainly has been weak all day. I was expecting the inverted head and shoulders formation to play out, but we failed to do so all day. There was this inverted head and shoulders here on the 10 minute chart, this left shoulder head obviously uh, going in, and then right shoulder looking for a potential. Uh, move higher we did actually attempt that two or three times but the uh, obviously the uh, profit warning from bt and the article 50 concerns with st your sterling pushing above 1.25 all those certainly did accumulate and sent the actual index 
uh, index low. Okay. Although after hours we are now back up at 7175, so we're back up to that resistance here. Okay. On the 60 minute chart, the key resistance for the FTSE really is the um, 7190 zone. Okay. You have the unfilled gap below at 7116. Again, that will always remain on the radar. Okay. Right, I think that's a good summation of European equities. So from my perspective, or summation really, it's a German DAX at gap fill, 11.630. If we break 11.630, 11.640 in the German DAX, then there is a possibility of the German DAX ripping higher, okay? Uh, taking out that resistance at 11.640 and sending all European equities higher too, okay? Let me just quickly look into the Euro stocks for you as well. Uh, Euro stocks did have a gap at uh, 3,300. So you are looking at potential closing that gap. I was short all day. I was sorry. I was long all day looking for that gap. Obviously, it didn't occur only until uh, after hours. So interesting, interesting scenario. Especially with the U.S. market certainly breaking to new highs, you have to respect that. Okay, hats off, and uh, let's see how the market reacts uh, thereafter. Okay, especially with regards to Mr. Trump's executive orders. Again, we're in uncharted territory. We remain. We continue to be uncharted territory. Anything and everything is possible in its market and you just have to react accordingly. Okay, folks, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Certainly take advantage of the bonus and please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.